Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. In this video, I want to help you improve your ball striking with your laces. So a couple of things I want you to think about before you watch these clips and start practicing for yourself. First of all is getting that ball out of your feet when you're about to take a shot. So if I'm trying to take a shot with my laces and the ball's stuck in my feet like this, it's gonna be very difficult for me to generate the power that I want. So if you want more power, the power starts with your movement. As I, if I can run into the ball, I'm gonna generate more power rather than shooting from a standstill because the ball's stuck in my feet. So just as important as your shot is the touch you take before your shot. So really think about anytime you have an opportunity to shoot, whether that's a first touch or you're dribbling past a guy, really focusing on the quality of that touch before you shoot so you can actually step into the ball to generate the technique that you want. Now, when I'm striking with my laces, I'm thinking about a few things. So first of all is getting my body over the ball. If I'm lunging for the ball and I'm striking from here, you know what's gonna happen. You've probably done it a hundred times. You're leaning back, the ball's gonna go high. It's not gonna stay on target. So really focus on getting your body over the ball. I wanna strike from here. I wanna keep my body nice and still. If I'm leaning one way, the ball's probably gonna curl that way or I'm falling away this way, it's gonna curl that way. So I will send the better in one day soccer blueprint to anyone who comments hashtag soccer on this video. So really think about getting over the ball and keeping your body nice and still. Now, when I'm about to strike the ball, I'm focusing on a specific point on the ball. Now that depends on where I want the ball to go and where I am in relation to the goal. So if I want the ball to go to the right side, I'm gonna hit a little more central, like this. If I want it to go to that side, I'm gonna hit a little more on this side of the ball, okay? So I'm focusing on a specific point on the ball. I'm not just swinging at the ball. I'm saying I wanna hit the ball right there, and then I'm focusing on striking through the ball like that. Okay, so you're focusing on that point, you're attacking the ball, you're running into it, you're focusing on that point. Now this is where your technique becomes very important. So first of all, strong, strong foot. Whether you have a, a nice flowing backswing or a short one, everyone shoots a little bit differently, but if you want that power, it comes down to that nice, strong foot. So really make sure that you flex your toes, your toes are pointed like that, your ankle is nice and strong. When you make contact with the ball, it's nice and strong, okay? You're gonna produce power just from your technique. So strong foot, you want a nice flowing backswing, something like this, coming through the ball. Okay, then the follow through is super important for me. More important, yes, the, the bigger your backswing, the more power you're gonna generate. But more important for me is that follow through. So what I do after, my, after I make contact with the ball is so important. So instead of, yes, you want a nice big follow through, but I think what some people do is they follow through and their follow through is up like this, it's high. Instead of going high through the ball, that's gonna force the ball to go high, you wanna push through the ball towards your target. So yes, you want a nice big fall through, but you want it going towards your target. Pushing towards your target, that's gonna make it go straight towards where you, towards the net where you want it to go. So thinking about those things, nice strong foot, good follow through. Then what I'm usually doing is after that, I'm landing on my shooting foot. So I'm kind of jumping in the air. Now what I don't wanna do, and I do this, sometimes I do this too often, is before I make that contact, I'm already jumping. So I wanna push through the ball, then my jump happens. So watch again. So instead of starting my jump early, something like that, I wanna make contact through the ball and then I'm landing. Okay, so you're pushing towards your target and then you're landing on that shooting foot. So think about those things. I think it will really help you. Getting out of your feet, body control, keeping your body nice and still, getting your body over the ball, strong flexed foot, follow through towards the target and not up, and landing on your shooting foot. If you want to improve faster and achieve more this season, use the Soccer Success Planner. It's 100% free. Players all around the world have already used it to improve. You can download it right now. There's a link in the description below. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.
you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. From moving up divisions to making national teams, players who use the online soccer academy get results. Access elite level coaching and training, become a complete player, make a difference on the field and get noticed when you play. Limited spots available, apply today, start improving tomorrow, link in the description below.